It seems like every week we're starting with a car trip. Well, today is no different. We're headed down into Carmel Valley to the Arroyo Seco campgrounds for what the Institute's ORDC calls FOOT, or First Semester Outdoor Orientation Trip. It's basically a straight shot down Carmel Valley with a multitude of bendy roads and scenic vistas. Upon arriving at the campgrounds, we set straight into a proper lunch because it was going to be a packed afternoon of hiking. And then we were off. Our trek began with a gentle up and down as we worked our way towards the river. I should clarify that almost all of this week's footage is from a helmet-mounted GoPro camera, so I apologize for the shaky nature of the content. I couldn't use the fancy equipment for reasons that will become apparent, well, right about now. Sometimes you discover things underwater that would be better if you hadn't seen. We found a few of these little guys on the riverbed, and as a result, people were a little extra careful about where they stepped. The heart of the trip was slowly moving upriver and for the most part it was always around knee-deep, but sometimes it was shorter to just traverse the rocks. Over the course of the trek, this would become my preferred path. My Scandinavian ancestors were master shipbuilders for a reason. But sometimes a brief swim was unavoidable. A few members of the group, you know who you are, actually preferred these sections. And because of the deep water, we found a few places where cliff jumping was possible. But that wasn't much of a jump. So Anthony and I decided to find something a bit higher. And once we located a sufficient summit, we had to get down again. Naturally, I chose the classic, you go first and I'll follow. But of course it did happen, and this is what it looked like on the way down. It was kind of two seconds of, this is dumb, this is dumb, this is dumb, followed by a lot of green water. Now a lot of my footage from the river trek looks like this, mainly because the old backstroke was my default position. I of course did this for your viewing pleasure, as footage from a front stroke would be so shaky you'd be sick. Boys being boys, the challenge of catching dinner with your bare hands was one that could not be refused. However, the Latin name for crawdad is Astropotamobius, which actually translates to slippery little devil. It was at this point that we came to what I like to call the point of no return. Up that canyon is, apparently, a nice little scenic waterfall. But to get there, it's a considerable swim with no possibility of breaks. And there's a giant sea monster, Somali pirates, and I think Hurricane Sandy showed up for a little while as well. Well, take a look out here. There was one guy here an hour ago. Now we see six or seven, so there's... So, while my intrepid companions pushed onward, I decided to take a little break. I had a little bit to eat, contemplated building a longboat, and generally relaxed in the sunshine. But it wasn't long until the adventurers returned from the waterfall and we started to make our way back to the campsite. The sun was on the way down, but the water was warmer than it had been on the outward path. We then started the unpacking and the dinner preparations. We were definitely lucky that some clever cooks were in attendance. When home she had 
I'll make it very clear that I had nothing to do with the tent setups. It is likely because of this that all the tents went up without a single problem. Due to the lack of recent rain, we couldn't have a proper campfire. But as the sun set, the long day took its toll and people retired to their tents. Okay, there's a snorer in our tent. It's not bad enough that you have to wake him up, but it's sufficient that you can't sleep. So, I guess I'll do some nighttime photography. Or I'll kill him. I'm not sure which. Well, you ain't seen Saskatchewan in spring. Packed your car and sold most everything. In actual fact, a good number of us went out to do some stargazing. At one point, lying in the middle of the road somewhere, we did catch sight of a single shooting star. Those that know me well will understand my appreciation of seeing one. And there is nothing like a mountain sunrise. It's all affection that I bring. Black fool, I just never said a thing. But you can't hear However, when you slept very little, a certain brewed beverage becomes your best bet for breakfast. So we had a simple meal and then went out for a light hike in the woodlands. No swimming this time. Sometimes I imagine your mind and pretend that we're somewhere else in time. Sometimes I wish we could disappear, be a million miles away from here. But you can't hear the song in my heart. Oh, the one I sing Before long, we were packing up the cars again. And then we headed back north through the winding roads. All in all, it was a fantastic outing to start the year. Very well organized and a perfect introduction to outdoor adventures in California. If you're a member of the Institute, and are interested in joining the ODRC on their future trips, be sure to drop in on them at the club fair or take a look at their website. That's all from Arroyo Seco. We'll see you later in the year. There's a big moon rising in the night. I could come and we could travel by the Some people might tell you that everything I just said 
didn't exactly happen the way I said it did. These people are absolutely, positively, not probably telling the truth. You have my personal guarantee that 75 plus 25 percent of everything I said happened occurred basically the way I said it did.